Welcome, this is my latest video on my 3D printing series using the FL Sun Q5 3D printer. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Also put a link to my playlist where I have my other 3D printing videos. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a plugin for Octoprint called Dry Run. So I have a video where I set up Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi, they call it OctoPi, and that's in my playlist that I linked to below. And it's some control software you can load onto a Raspberry Pi computer or other computer to control your 3D printer. And it has a plugin architecture, and what you can do is you can install a plugin called Dry Run, and it will allow you to print without actually printing. So I have OctoPrint loaded up on my computer here. It's connected to the printer, although it will disconnect here in just a minute. So what I want to do is go to this wrench here, and then go down to the plugin manager. Then I'm going to scroll down and click on Get More, and I'll search here for Dry Run, all one word. I'll hit Install. Okay, it's done installing it. I'll close this. I'll hit Restart Now and this will restart the Octopi computer. Okay, it says please reload, I'll reload now. And I said restart the computer, I'm not sure if this is restarting the computer or Octopi itself. Okay, so we have the interface back up, I'll hit connect, and now we see this dry run on and off. So I'm going to hit time lapse here. I'll set that to timed, I'll save changes. Actually, I'll change the seconds down to every one second. I'll go back to control. So now I'll pick something to print. I have a vase here. Okay, so what I want to do is hit dry run on, and you'll see it's red here. I'll go down to this vase and I'll say print. And at the very top you see dry run activated. So you'll see the print head come down here in the video, and it will start printing this without actually extruding any filament. It also has not heated up the bed or heated up the hot end on here. So it's simulating printing. So there are a couple different reasons you might use this. I can think of two right now. One, say you start printing something and your printer is making a weird noise. So what you could do is you could cancel the print, but you still want to have it simulate printing so you can figure out what the noise is. So what you could do is you could run a dry run and the printer will go through the motions and then you could see if there's a belt that's loose or something. Now, it's not extruding, so if the noise was coming from your extruder, then you'll have to determine that uh, if the noise goes away when you're doing the dry run, it might be the extruder. But you could uh, do that, you could lubricate, um, say, the pivots or something on it, and you could do a dry run to kind of work the lubricant in. You could be at a maker fair or something, and you don't have anything to print at the fair, but you want to have the printer go through the motions just for display. So there are a number of different reasons you might want to utilize dry run with your 3D printer. So I'll let this run for a minute. Okay, so I've had enough of that. I'll hit cancel. It says, do you want to cancel the print? I'll say, yes, cancel it. So this will stop, and I can turn dry run off so it's back to its normal printing mode. And on the printer, I'll just hit tool and home on the little touch screen. That will home the head. So if I go to time lapse now, I'll scroll down, and you can sort this. You can hit the little wrench and say sort by date. So it's showing the most current ones at the top. So you see this says Julia vase fail. That's because it didn't complete. I'll hit download here. I'll double click on that, and I have the video of it printing now, although it's not really printing anything. So that's how you can print without printing. You can do a dry run of your prints. There are numerous reasons that you might want to do this, and it's a pretty neat plugin. So I don't know that I'll do this every day, so I may go in and go to my plugin manager and find that plugin, dry run. There are a couple of options here. You can hit this little switch here, and that will deactivate it, but it will still stay installed. And then the other option is the trash can, which will actually uninstall it. So I'll hit restart now, I'll proceed. And now you'll see dry run is no longer here. If you want to remove it, I'll click on the little wrench, I'll go to plugin manager, I'll go to dry run, you can hit the trash can here, and there are a couple different options. You can say keep installed, uninstall, or uninstall and clean up beta. So if you want the computer to forget about this completely, you can hit that third option, and it will remove it completely and you'll be back to where you started. So I think that's a helpful plugin for certain applications. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.